All right, so the question here says classify the following as independent or dependent. Okay, so the first one here, rolling a die and flipping a coin. So the event is, first event is rolling a six, and the second event is obtaining tails. Well, okay, the rolling a six does not impact the, the sample space or the probability of the second event at all. These are independent. Rolling a pair of dice. The first event is rolling an odd number on one die, and the second event is rolling an even number on the other die. Well, again, uh, that first die rolling, getting an odd number, that's, that's one out of two. Rolling an uh, even number on the second die is going to be one out of two. It, it doesn't really matter what happens. Uh, they are independent of each other. Okay, the one event does not affect the other. Okay, whoops. Sample two members of a family. A mother and her child. The first event is that the mother has blonde hair. The second event is that the child has blonde hair. Okay, well, I'm no geneticist, but I think it stands to reason that there, if the mother has blonde hair, there's a fairly strong probability that the child will have blonde hair, okay? So I think it's pretty safe to say these are dependent, okay? That that first event does have an impact on the second event. Uh, dealing five cards from a standard deck, the first event is that the first card is dealt as a spade, and the second event is that the second card is a spade, the third event is that the third card is a spade, and so on. Okay, now if I'm dealing out five cards from a deck, if I'm not putting those cards back in, then the sample space is getting smaller and smaller with each, with each card that I deal out here. These are dependent events, because the probability of getting a spade goes down slightly with every card that, that is a spade that gets dealt. And remember, we assume success. So we assume every time we do this, we are actually dealing out spades here. So that all works. Selecting one tulip from the first vase and one tulip from the second vase. Uh, well, I, I don't know how many tulips there are in either vase here, but I can tell you right now that picking a tulip from one vase will not affect the sample space uh, from the second vase. And so these would be independent. Okay. That first event does not change the probability of getting a tulip from the second vase.